It's April 20th, and we have a lot to talk about today, including a story that's very timely given the date and, um, Jade? Jade? <laughs> what? Yeah. Sorry, but we're, we're, we're doing this. What's, what's going on? Sorry, I just was so inspired by my favorite moment over the weekend. I just wanted to channel it and try and bring that joy okay. Okay. to you. Very nice. Well, we'll talk about that too in just a minute. It's the current music news. I'm Jay. And I'm Jade. And yes, indeed, I'll tell you about that air drumming moment. Uh, it happened at this event over the weekend. Uh, One World Together was this big concert uh, that was an eight-hour event, and some of the biggest names in music all showed up. Uh, it was also aired the last two hours of it on all three of the major leading broadcast networks. And National Public Radio said that the, this fundraiser overnight Again, this was Saturday evening. Uh, it raised almost $128 million to help fight the COVID-19 pandemic. That is huge. So this was something that was uh, co-curated by Lady Gaga. She's kind of been the big vocal force behind it. But it is actually an event organized by the anti-poverty organization Global Citizens. Uh, this was done at the request of United Nations and the World Health Organization. So a very big event. Uh, that kind of helps explain why people like Paul McCartney, Elton John, uh, Billie Eilish, Lizzo doing an amazing cover, and the Rolling Stones all performed, you know, from their homes, doing about one song. And the Rolling Stones did it pretty cool, where every person in the band kind of popped up on their own screen, slowly introduced into the song, and the last person introduced was drummer Charlie Watts, who you know, hasn't really set up his own drum kit in a number of years. And, well, it's a big event, but, like, are you going to really put up your drum kit? So he sat there with this kind of cheeky smile on his face and air drummed right along with the rest of the band to You Can't Always Get What You Want. The coronavirus continues to plague the music world alongside every other sector of society. Uh, we recently learned that we lost Matthew Seligman at the age of 64, uh, due apparently to a stroke after contracting COVID-19. He was a bassist best known as a member of the Soft Boys and a musician on albums by a ton of people, including his former bandmate Robin Hitchcock. In tribute, Robin Hitchcock shared a quote that he attributed to Matthew Seligman, quote, pop music, is about overstating the obvious. Other artists affected by the virus include whole wide world singer-songwriter Reckless Eric, who says he's doing okay after experiencing symptoms for about a month. He wrote a very sarcastic post on Facebook, understandably upset, and he wrote that, quote, by some miracle, he managed to get tested and it did come back positive. Meanwhile, Christopher Cross is apparently on the mend. Uh, he has had some pretty extreme symptoms. He apparently has lost the use of his legs for a while. He has some temporary paralysis, but he says that he is expected to make a full recovery and says when he gets back on his feet, he's going to launch that 40th anniversary tour. And if you're looking for something to do today, it is 420. If that means something to you, uh, well, you might want to join one of music's foremost marijuana aficionados online at 420. No, I'm not talking about Snoop Dogg. I'm talking about Willie Nelson. Uh, Willie Nelson has promised four hours and 20 minutes <clears throat> of a variety show that will feature cooking tips, comedians, some special musical guests. Maybe Snoop Dogg will stop by. They are friendly. Other weed-centric moments, whatever that means. Uh, this is uh, all an event that's happening at Willie's home. He's got this new production. It's named, as uh, Music Rose calls it, this rogue cultural collective headquarters in Luck, Texas. And Willie's live stream is going to be called Luck Productions Come and Toke It. You think uh, he'll share his favorite brownie recipe? I, hey, there are cooking lessons abounding. So who knows? Maybe there is something a higher level than just the brownies. Maybe there is some real gourmet uh, 420 foods you can be consuming. 
Concert promoter Live Nation, as we've been discussing, has been under intense criticism from ticket buyers and lawmakers, and it's announced that it will follow the example of AEG and offer a 30-day window for customers to request refunds for concerts that have been postponed due to the pandemic. Like AEG's, the Live Nation window opens on May 1st. Now, if you have tickets to a show that's been canceled that you bought through Ticketmaster, you might want to consider your options because Live Nation is offering customers credits of up to 150% of the ticket value for you know people who don't need that cash back. So if you want to hold on for a sunnier, safer day and cash in even higher value on future tickets, that might be an option. That's today's music news. We'll be back next time with another update, so like and follow us so you can be sure to catch it. And in the meantime, listen to The Current on the radio, on our web stream, on our app, on your smart speaker. And click in the comments to let us know what music news stories are meaningful to you right now. And artists are already giving us new music from their home, from their sheltering in place. One of those is pop star Charlie XCX. Uh, she's actually created an entire album from the comfort of her home. It's called How I'm Feeling Now. And it makes sense that she's been sharing all of this, uh, all the songs, the entire process, through her social media to her fans. So what did she do when it was time to make a music video? She crowdsourced. Uh, so it's not only, you know, photos and images of Charlie at home, but it's also her fans in their houses sharing their homes. And just to kind of remind us all of what we're all doing here, there are these lovely, joyful crowd scenes to kind of give us some hope for a future day when we can all enjoy music together again. <laughs> 